Tonight is the night and this is the hour right now at seven. The very first showing of Star Wars The Force Awakens begins at theaters all across the country. One of those packed theaters is in Newport. That is where we find nine on your sides. Ashley Zilka with what fans are saying on opening night. Now the first showing just started moments ago back in 1977 when Princess Leia looked like this. It cost about $3 to go to the movies. Well, tonight it cost about 11 but one thing hasn't changed. Everyone is still in love with the films. The Force is back big time. How excited are you for tonight? Uh, I'm not at a, or 1 out of 10, I'm a 10. 10 being the highest. Like, this is insane. Yeah. <laughs> the lines are long, the crowd is pumped, and the costumes are out of this world. Uh, I dressed up as the new villain, Kylo Ren, uh, just because I know he's probably going to be iconic from here on out. Yeah, I've been saving up my hype for two years since Disney announced they're making more movies, so that'll be pretty fun. I've been looking forward to this forever. Fans camped out here at AMC Newport for 24 hours. The movie theater held a marathon of all the previous Star Wars movies last night. We've been here all night. I got here at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. yesterday? Yeah. Since about 3 p.m. yesterday, we got in line for the movie marathon. Tonight's Star Wars The Force Awakens is expected to shatter box office records, and some experts say it could be the first film to break the $3 billion mark. These fans aren't surprised. I was lucky enough to be born after the originals were already made, so I, it's literally, I, I can't remember the first time I even watched the original films because they've just been ingrained in my life, so it's, this is monumental for me. It's something I grew up with, and it's just kind of always sticks with you, and it's just fun to do. It was really like the first big blockbuster movie franchise, and it just it has evolved over the past 30, 40 years now, however long it's been out, 77. Um, to become like a cultural phenomenon. It's not just a movie anymore. It's a, it's a whole worldwide phenomenon. Now, I just spoke with the general manager, and he says there are only single seats available for the rest of the night. But there is good news. If you are truly a dedicated Star Wars fan, they just added another show, and that is at 5.30 in the morning. That is wide open right now. Reporting wow. live, Ashley Zilka, not on your side. 5.30.